And New Year, new resolutions. And many people across the country are making their health a top priority this year. January is the time to get started on the path to a healthy 2019. So here to talk about the importance of annual exams for adults is Jeff Sanyak this morning. Jeff, thanks for joining us. Uh, he's a nurse practitioner at UT's Health Work Life Clinic. Uh, Jeff, it's really important. I think as, as kids, we go mm -hmm. to those regular checkups. We're always at the doctor, it seems like. Sure. And then adults kind of seem to fall off the wagon. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important for adults to you know keep up on their annual exams? I mean, that's a, that's a great question. And to your point, for a lot of adults, it's been a while since they've been in so first just going in for the first time but then uh, annually it's a good idea because you know we do a lot in those visits we uh, examine your health habits and how those could uh, impact your health uh, we talk about your symptoms and things uh, you're feeling things you may not even know you're feeling that could indicate various health uh, issues um, you know we do thorough physical exams uh, and and check you know your body head to toe uh, but we also then just uh, using all that information uh, look at the latest uh, recommendations, screenings, uh, see what's just recommended for you, uh, and make those recommendations. Yeah. And what mm -hmm. screenings and immunizations should adults be making sure to get? That's a, that's a great question. Um, I mean, it really, there's a lot out there. Obviously, there, it depends on you know a lot of factors, your age, your gender, um, family history. Um, some common ones you probably know about, you know, annual flu shot, for example. Um, it's common, you get that cut, you gotta come in, make sure you, you know, mm -hmm. need a tetanus shot maybe. Uh, but other things like, you know, um, mama breast cancer screening, mm -hmm. uh, colorectal cancer screening is, a, is another one. Um, so there's a lot out there, yeah. All things you'll tip your patients off <laughs> when Absolutely. they come in. And you know, why is it important that you don't just go from doctor to doctor to really establish a relationship uh, with a physician? That's a great question too. Um, you know, a lot of it is that relationship and yeah. um, you know, it starts with just building that comfort level uh, with a provider and that, that in turn lets you, uh, we found, be a lot more honest and open mm -hmm. about your health issues. Uh, but also just uh, having someone who knows you knows your previous health issues and has your records um, and can be able to monitor you and kind of detect those uh, more nuanced changes going forward because they know you so well. Uh, and practically too, I mean, if you have that relationship uh, and you keep going to the same same provider, um, a lot of times it's easier to get in when you need them for like say an acute or uh, urgent issue uh, because you already have that relationship. All right, mm -hmm. Jeff, thank you so much. Good tips that'll hopefully yeah. help people get those resolutions out on the right track. Go Absolutely. to your doctor, get your, get your yearly exam. Yeah, and if people would like to make an yeah. appointment. Uh, our number is one eight three three UT Cares, uh, or they could go to uthealthaustin.org. Great, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Well, here at KX.